Thank you, Brother Given. The remembrance of our Lord. Now this, I agree with Brother Given's last statement. So much so I already had it written down here. Faith will sanctify your remembrance. Now so, how are you going to have a profitable remembrance? Have faith. Now, this, um, as I was, as Brother Gibbon was ministering, it occurred to me that uh, we're suited, God has suited the new man particularly to be an expert rememberer of Christ. Amen. See, he's, it, this, what Christ did, being the foundation, uh, the capstone of everything that God's doing in the new creation, then it would make perfect sense that as you walk in the Spirit, remembering Christ would be like spiritually natural. In other words, not remembering Him is a sign that you're not walking in the Spirit. The Spirit doesn't have any problem remembering Christ. In fact, He's very much forward to cause you to remember. You walk in the Spirit, He's going to show you the things to come. He's going to open things up. What things? The things of Christ. The things that are His. Remember, Jesus said, all things that the Father hath are mine. That's why I said that He'll open up everything that belongs to me. So the, this, this, is, this is like Jesus crowning glory. What He did on this cross. What He accomplished. So, of course, we would remember Him. <laughs> remember me. I like this. Remembering comes naturally for the new man. You don't have to coax the new man to remember Christ. He's forward to do it. Of course, this is like a sign of the things to come, isn't it? See, this is like you're tasting of the powers of the world to come. When you get to heaven, this will be what you do all the time. There's not like a corner in heaven where there's, there's somebody not remembering Christ. Everyone, all of heaven remembers him. See, only, only the people on the earth are the only ones that really forget him. See, it, which is like really ironic to the ones made in this, but see, they're fallen. So see, we're here, and we need this exhortation to remember him. Exercise your mind. Now, I was thinking about this. Exercise your mind. Now, we come together. This is true. We come together, and it's like a, can be like the height, you know, you come together with saints of like precious faith. But when you're home, when you have the free time, exercise your mind where when you come together, it's more profitable. Yeah. Remember, Brother Gibbons was talking about people who don't use their mind. Exer well, that's the exhortation. Exercise your mind. And what a good, what a good uh, uh, something to exercise your mind? Remember him. This, you're never going to remember Jesus and, and be sorry for it. Never. Never going to come a time and say, well, Wednesday, I remember I remembered him during the day and, and it wasn't so proud. No, no, see, that's, of course, everyone already knows this. Everyone already knows this. You never, there's never a time when you can look back and say, well, but that one to know, you always were profited when you remembered him. So well, anyway, I, it was, for me, it was, it was a good thing to, to ponder. Because you, you can like plan on remembering him. So I'm going to remember him. I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm going to remember him more. Well, see, but this is all part of, see, we're here in this body. We need exhortations. You can glorify God in your use of remembrance. Now, he's, we know this, but he's sanctified a, whole, a time in the assembly where we remember him. But see, you're with him all the time. You're with him every moment of every day. He's there. So see, it, I can remember years ago when I thought, it hit me, he's right here. Of course, it was like the day dawning. He, he's right here. It's like, you know, it, there's never a time. Of course, you know, I was, I was younger, but it was like, it was like an epiphany. It was like, it was like I, I realized he's your very present help. He's not very far from every one of you. He's right there. Well, now, when, when, when faith comes and you, and you start walking in the Spirit, you, you, this is the resource then that you draw on that he's right there. So what happens when trouble comes? Well, you, he's right there. He, he's, he's a very present help. Of course, you know, some people might think you're a little bit strange if you lived your life like that. But the fact is, is that you are very strange. 
you're a, you're a, see, like you're like a diadem in his hand. And you glorify God when you remember him. So I, 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 this was a challenge to my mind to, to, um, to see that, to, to see that it, it's, it's always right and it's never wrong to remember Jesus. This is, this is right. We've been, we've been created a new creation that has a capacity. I like this. Brother Gibbon brought this out too, that your new man has, has, has better capacities when it comes to remembering him. Your old man, what, what, your old life, what is it? It was all bad memories. All bad. But your new man, it's been created in, in holiness, true holiness. You can remember him and it not be a, a bad event. Some people, well, they can't do that. A new mind has a new capacity, right? You've been given a new mind, right? He wrote his laws on your, on your heart, on your mind. Now when you remember Christ, it's not like under condemnation. It, it's actually the glorification. I'm looking forward to the time when I see him face to face. Now I remember that. That remembrance is, it draws you closer to God. It glorifies him. Well, anyway, is there any comments this evening? I was greatly.